All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, let's see here. I wanted to talk about the uh, the GGG Canadian Golovkin versus uh, John Murray uh, match in relation to the up and coming fight with um, Floyd Mayweather uh, Jr. versus uh, Manny the Pac Man Pacquiao. And the whole thing about um, the hypocrisy, you know, that you have in boxing, you know, nowadays with uh, regards to pe people having uh, favorite fighters and uh, fighters, you know, moving up and down, you know, weight classes and stuff like that. And I find it kind of interesting, you know, listen to a couple of YouTube videos and uh, YTBC, the YouTube boxing community, that... Um, you had uh, a few guys, you know, making excuses for uh, Gennady Golovkin not moving up in weight and challenging, you know, Andre Ward. You know, he's already, you know, GGG is already uh, considered now, um, uh, well, I was, uh, not, not necessarily a unified champion, but recognized as the, the best in his weight class at 160. Now, uh, for whatever reason... A lot of fights aren't happening, you know, maybe uh, fights with uh, Peter Quillen, uh, just to name one. I can't think of anybody else right now. Maybe at one point Sergio Martinez, but Sergio Martinez has already been knocked off by Miguel Cotto, uh, who's now the linear champion at uh, 160. Now, um, I don't know whether it has to do with his, you know, promotional team not fronting any money, try to get Cotto uh, in the ring. Uh Right along with, you know, uh, Peter Quillen. Uh, but, obviously, uh, Peter Quillen is tied up right now fighting Andy Lee for the WBO uh, championship belt, which is coming up pretty soon. But at the end of the year, they can probably make that fight happen. But um, it, it seems like a lot of people make excuses like, oh, GGG shouldn't move up. He just sit at that weight class as long as he can and uh, clean out the division. But the problem here is that uh, I find it kind of interesting that they um, they want someone hinted that they wanted Floyd Mayweather to move up to 160 and fight Gennady Golovkin. You know, they want to fight GGG. I, I don't understand that, man. You know, I, I, I want this dude that pretty much started at like, like 126 to uh, or, or 130, whatever weight class he started out to move up uh, 40 pounds. But yet you can't get, you don't want Gennady Golovkin to move up 8 pounds uh, to face some stiff competition. You know, that's, uh, if that's not, you know, fanboyism, I, I don't know what is, but to me that sounds like fan fanboy talk. You get what I'm saying? Um, then to see y'all, you sound like a hater. So <laughs> you know, at the same time, you're a fanboy and and you're a hater. So you want Floyd Mayweather, who who's a naturalist, a smaller man, to move up. 30, 40 pounds, you know, the uh, fight Gennady Golovkin, but you don't want Gennady Golovkin to move up eight pounds. That that don't make no sense. And then someone had the nerve to, oh, um, I know the YouTube channel, but someone had the nerve to compare it to uh, a guy uh, moving up to, you know, the heavyweight division. Or, you know, it, you know he compared a heavyweight to Gennady Gennady Golovkin moving up, like, where is he going to go? Like, that's that's not even no damn comparison. You know, heavyweight <clears throat> division is the heavyweight division. You know, it's the top division. It's top-tier division. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, they, they, you know, no heavyweight can uh, challenge himself except for facing all the top competition in his weight class because there ain't no other weight class to go to. You get what I'm saying? So there's no facing any bigger, uh, you know, fighters or anything like that, a guy who outweighs you or anything like that, like some throwback fighters used to do. I mean, you probably had a guy that maybe weighed 160, was knocking out some guy that 
weighed like 200 pounds or something like that, you know, just, just for the hell of it, because he could, you know, well, because he had the power, actually, but, um, yeah, yeah, I don't understand that, man, you know, I don't know how, like, B-Hop can go uh, up and fight, you know, he, I, I even think he skipped the super middleweight division, but he's, he's fighting at, uh, 175 right now, so, I don't understand why Gennady can love, Gennady can love him, uh, can't do that, you know what I'm saying? Hell, Adrian Broner, uh, everybody wanted him to move up. Not not too long ago, people wanted him to move up. So, what, what's up with that? <sighs> Man. And he's three-time, what, how many championship belts he got? Like, uh, three? With the possibility of getting four? So, I mean, at the end of the day, I think people have to, uh, you know, keep him you know, in perspective that, um, let's see here, that, you know, they, they, they got to just keep in perspective that he, he, he can't be a hypocrite at the end of the day. You have, you have to be consciously aware that, you know, that you, you're putting yourself in a hypocritical position and you, and you don't want to do that. So with that being said, I, I think everybody, um, if they nowadays with the alphabet soup, you know, we have all these belts out there that everybody should move up a weight class, if not three weight classes in order to, uh, put themselves on, you know, the pound, pound for pound list, you know, throughout their career, they shouldn't just be in one weight class when we have, uh, guys like Sh- Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, you know, Roberto Duran, Time of the Hitman Hearns. I think Time of the Hitman Hearns went all the way up to Cruiserweight. But, um, I think it's, there's another guy, too. I forgot his name. Oh, jeez. Guillermo Jones. I think I want to say Guillermo Jones. Am I saying his name right? Guillermo. Hell, he started his career off at 147. So, and he he's a Cruiserweight champ, former Cruiserweight champion. So, there you get it. Have it, man. You know, um... Any fight out there is, you know, willing to challenge himself should he at least move up one weight class, if not down one weight class, yeah, in order to, uh, order in order to be considered, you know, uh, to me an all time great, uh, or at least to be respected to me in my book. All right, that's all I got. Bye.